when I first heard about it, uh, it, it really it, it touched me, not just because of the Civil War connection, but just because such an important event was lost in history. I think it's a, a very important story to tell because of the connection to POWs. The, the photos that they have of these survivors, to look at them sitting there with physicians around them, you, you, nobody can look and, and wonder, is that a setup? Is he really alive? Because it's just literally a skeleton with the skin hanging on. Making the trip in a train car all the way to Vicksburg, I can't imagine in that condition. And being stacked under, so many of them pushed under the Sultana where most of them, I would imagine, could not stand on their own and just the, the total discomfort of the lack of space. And then once the disaster happened, so many of them just could not get off on their own, so their fate was sealed. I had read recently, and I think it was a documented letter of a survivor that was talking about one gentleman who had broken legs and asked a fellow prisoner to hoist him over the rail knowing he would die in the water. And he said that he would rather drown than be burned to death. So uh, th th this is the condition where these guys were just so physically unable to do anything for themselves. And many of them just ended up in the water with, you know, drowned almost immediately.